Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel. Today we're going to be installing a trimmer style valance on our 2021 Ford Super Duty. In 2020, Ford decided to put this awful looking valance on the Super Duty trucks. And I say that because as a, as a Chevrolet guy, one of the things I guess that we've always kind of envied about the Ford and the Dodges is just the, the stance of the three quarter ton and up trucks. They've always had a truck that just sits higher, looks better, great ground clearance, all the things. In 2020, I'm sure that this was some sort of an aerospace engineer that came up with this. This has to do with air deflection, whatever, all the things, bunch of words that I can't pronounce. They've put this valance on the front of these trucks that really makes the truck look a lot lower in the front. It's totally a looks type of a thing. Uh, and and from what we're seeing, customers absolutely hate it. So if you got the trimmer package in these trucks, it has a completely different valance. And this is a Ford part number. Uh, we tend not to give part numbers on uh, videos like this because sometimes you'll get a change in this. But this is the trimmer. Uh, this is a trimmer style valance for the 2020 and up trucks. And this can be installed and you can remove this gaudy looking thing put the much thinner one on here and it's going to give you that good looking stance in the front of the trucks back that we've all come to love from the Ford trucks in the front. So this is a super, super easy install. This is more of a before and after, but we are going to take you underneath the truck, show you what you need to do to take it off. That portion of it's going to be pretty quick. We're going to get this off here, put the new one on, show you what it looks like so you guys can make a choice whether you want to put one on your trucks. All right, now again, super easy to take this off. Eight metric, uh, eight metric socket is going to get all of the bolts out on these. So, on the valance, you have three bolts coming from the top down through the clip that is in the valance. Now, as you can see on this one, they're they're already broken off. So you have three on this side, you have three on the other side, and again, that's the bolts coming down going through the clip. So a little bit harder to get to you can get up here pretty easily to access. So you have a ratchet to get those out. No problem. Then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've got seven bolts coming from, and I think I keep getting in Adam's way. You have seven bolts coming from the bottom going up through the clip. And those are super, super easy to get to. So what we like to do, and I want to show you just, if you run into this on this, where this is busted out, you can't just start turning on the bolt coming through the top because it's just going to keep turning this clip and it's going to scratch up the, uh, it's going to scratch up this metal piece. So what I like to do is I like to take a pair of pliers. And I'm going to turn this one back around where you can see it. Let's take a little pair of slip joint pliers and I open them up um, to where I'm not pinching on this clip like so. Then I get a ratchet and go ahead and start loosening it from the top like so. And because I'm working around the camera there, I can't get back to it, but that's okay. So take your ratchet and then just hold the clip at the bottom, slip joint pliers. When they're open like that, then you're not pinching on the uh, pinching on the clip and messing it up. So we're going to go ahead and get the three on that are coming from the top out of this side of the balance. And then we'll show you taking the uh, bolts going from the bottom up, out, and then taking this balance off. Last bolt to come out here. And the balance pops down. And you want to watch the clips for your license plate there that just kind of slides into it and grooves in. Bolts come out on the bolts that are coming straight from the bottom and then the clips stay with the truck so we'll get this big gaudy thing out of the way now that you've got your balance off um, you've got these little brackets to contend with that are coming right off the frame I, they uh, there's some models of the truck that don't have these on them uh, certain pre uh, certain prep packages that don't have them on them but most of the trucks you're going to run into have them you have to remove them because they are longer than the trimmer valance, so they've got to come off of here. Uh, 18 metric is all you need. Keep a universal with you as well. 
Uh, as you go deeper inside of here, they're a little bit harder to get to. I think where Adam's at right there, so you'll see those. So they're 18 metric. Now this, the bolts that come through the frame here are attached to each other, so they're not gonna fall out one by one and you don't have to have a wrench on the back side to hold it. Just go ahead, zip the nuts off and then that pack of bolts will come out in two. You can reach your hand in here and just slip it out of the frame, easy. see how that fell out there you just reach up the frame and catch it and there you go so you got a pack of two on the inside and the outside of the bracket you go ahead and zip them off same thing on the other side and get these brackets out of your way Okay, like I said, we don't need to put these brackets back on, uh, but this is gonna be a new segment to our installation videos. These are nice hoard opportunities. You get to keep these two brackets, use them for any welding projects that you come up with later on down the road. And these two nut packs right here, keep the bolt, the uh, nuts and bolts, and you can use those, get yourself a nice hoard bolt bucket like we have here at the shop. You never run out of bolts, never, ever, ever. All right, so we've got everything uh, out now. What we wanna do is just kind of clean up underneath where the, the new valance is gonna go have that cleaned and ready. And we're gonna show you transferring the clips over to our new trimmer balance. All right, we've got to transfer these little clips for the outside of our balance from our stock balance into the trimmer package balance. Now, these clips, if you've ever dealt with them from Ford, they have a keeper in the center of them. And that keeper, you gotta watch, cause I was going the wrong way on them. I just looked at it and I was like, well, that needs to push down. But what you do with that is you actually pop that keeper up like so with whatever. And then when you pop the keeper off, pop the keeper up, just give yourself a little bit of relief on that piece, on that, on that little piece of metal. And then you can slap, uh, slide the, slide the nuts or whatever you want to call it right off the balance. So let's talk about positioning for these because there is a hole that you're going to change here. So as you can see on this one here, and I've left the, the last one on it, you're going to skip a hole on the outside. So you're going to be, well, I'm gonna say skip a hole, but on the trimmer balance, there are only two holes on this far outside. On your stock balance, there's actually three, but we skipped this one. So we're gonna be removing the, I'm gonna call it a nut cert for lack of a better word here, people. You'll be removing it from here, here. We skip this one and then there's another nut cert right there. Okay, so I'll show you how to pop these off. And if you need to, you can totally get a pair of pliers and pull from the back side of it, but you might be able to do it with your fingers. So I'm just pulling up on the center of it and I've got my finger behind the little nut cert there and just pushing, pulling on the back and it comes right off. Then when you go to pull it, put it on the new balance, you just slide it right straight on with the open portion of it towards the front of the balance like so. And I managed to move that nut cert with a daggum bug in, down in it right there. But boys, I mean, that really adds character to what you're doing on your installation. So we're just gonna leave him right there and he can stay with the new truck the whole way through. All right, so we're gonna transfer our clips over onto our trimmer balance all the way through here. So again, we've got one, two, skip a hole, and then your third one, and then do the same thing on your other side and you're ready to put it back in the truck. Okay, so on the center of your valance, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put one bolt in the center, one of the bolts that comes from the bottom through. And on the new valance, and well, on both the valance, you have cutaways on either side here. These cutaways go in the license plate holder and they just engage it and kind of hold it. And it gives you another set of hands if you're trying to do this by yourself. So you just engage that into there and grab one of the bolts that comes through the bottom and go ahead and start it into the nut cert like so all right so you just want to make sure that you're paying attention to that and you've got the two for the uh you've got the two clips for the license plate holder you've got those engaged so i'm, I'm actually going to put three on this all the bolts are the same size so i'm just going to start these three all right and then i want to try to get to my outsides here so i'm going to let that hang like so. And then remember, we've got our nut certs already on. We transferred those over. 
so we can put our outside ones on real quick and go ahead and throw those through i want to get my other side done because i don't want undue pressure on it like so go ahead and get your eight metrics in there okay just like so so you're safe now so you go back through you get all of your bolts in you get everything lined up and make sure that when you are putting your bolts on this little wiring harness right here so on the driver's side of the truck no that's passenger side sorry passenger side yeah dyslexia it is driver's side yeah it's driver's side driver's side that's what i meant i was just testing y'all make sure everybody's paying attention on your driver's side bolt that comes up through the bottom there is actually a clip on your uh fog light wiring harness if you've got them on the package you just want to make sure you get that clip pushed back down on the bolt and there you go don't over tighten these don't you just need to snug them up is all you need to do don't go back with air tools here uh, just snug everything up and don't twist the nut starts out and you should be fine so we're going to go ahead and tighten everything up and we'll show you the front side of the truck what it looks like with the new valance on the truck all right there she is finished product with the trimmer package valance on it what is that inch and a half two inches or so much better i mean completely different truck in the front end i mean you went from this that big of an air dam on there to that much better much cleaner when you first take the valance off of something we talked about you take it off there's a lot of um pinch welds and then there's more of the nut starts on there holding different things underneath there so you really can't leave it off it just it doesn't look good um but the trimmer valance covers it all perfectly it's it's perfect it's seamless follows the contour of the bumper looks really good so if you're interested in the trimmer valance or any other ford products just give us a call and we appreciate you watching our video